I am making a delicious butternut squash and pine risotto for supper tonight. It's a brilliant midweek supper because it only takes about 13 minutes to make. I have prepped my butternut squash, which I'm going to roast separately. Um, I've chopped up the top and then I've cut them in half lengthways so they come into two little halves. I've put some thyme on there and then I'm going to put some olive oil over it like this. Um, some sea salt and then they are going to go into the oven to roast and when they're roasted I'm going to puree them. So off they go to the oven. So the butternut squash is on roasting and I'm prepping the rest of the risotto. So I have shallots that I've diced up into small little pieces. You've got to use shallots and not regular onions because they're sweet and they become so translucent. They're perfect for risotto. I've got two cloves of garlic, which I'm crushing up from fresh thyme. I've got some chicken stock that I've got left over from the weekend. Remember when I roasted the chicken and made the broth as well? If you haven't seen that recipe, you go back a couple of recipe videos and you'll see it. So I've got my stock, but you could use vegetable stock if you wanted to too. I've got my carnaroli rice, which is risotto rice. I've got butter and I've got white wine. You don't have to use the white wine if you don't want to, but it does add lovely flavor. So the secret to making a risotto. When I lived in Italy, I became obsessed with making the best risottos that I could possibly do, is sweating down the um, shallots in really good butter. Kerrygold, I love it, because I'm from Ireland. Um, but any good quality butter, sweat them down. And then you add in the risotto rice and you want to toast up the risotto rice for about two or three minutes. Then we add in the white wine and then ladle by ladle, we add in this stock. But you've got to wait until all the stock has been absorbed by the risotto before you add in the next ladle to give it a chance to plump up um, and absorb all those beautiful flavors. So I'm going to get back to prepping my shallots and garlic and then I'm going to sweat them off with some lovely butter. Beautiful butternut squash is roasted. It took about 25 minutes in the oven. So I'm just gonna take off all those little bits like that. I'm gonna grab one in my hand using a tea towel, because they're very, very hot. Um, I'm gonna scoop out all those seeds like so. Want them back there. And then into a bowl, I'm gonna scoop in all the delicious butternut squash and you could either puree it in a blender or you could just mash it with a potato masher. So I've got all my butternut squash in a bowl. I'm going to add in some fresh thyme that I've chopped up and a big spoon of mascarpone which is going to make this velvety smooth and then some pepper, freshly ground black pepper and sea salt and then the masher i'm just going to mash it all together but you could as i said do this in a blender but it's just so easy to mash so that is the butternut squash thyme and mascarpone all mashed together i'd have a spoon of this because this on its own is simply delicious even with you know grilled chicken or a piece of fish mm or your roast beef, mm. Mm. Oh, that's so delicious. Caramelly and silky, the lovely savory flavor from the thyme. Okay, I'm gonna grab my risotto, the base of it, because it's good. See how lovely and creamy this is? That is how you want your risotto to look. And then in goes the pureed butternut squash. We're going to mix all of this together. Look at the colour of this. A little bit of sunshine on this grey day. Ooh, that looks like heaven. Mm. And a little bit of parmesan cheese to finish it off. How delicious is this? 
Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It truly is a little bowl of comforting sunshine in the middle of winter. Bon appetito. Mmm.